What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with a brand new video and for today's video, as you've read by the title and as you can clearly tell, I am going to be showing you how to make the perfect mango micheladas. So before I get started, like always, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe so you guys do not miss out on any videos that I upload. We are almost at 200 subscribers, so if you are not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. That would be a really big help to me. And then if you guys also want to stay updated with me outside of YouTube and see what I'm up to with all my drunk shenanigans and you know, just bendejadas in general. Make sure you go ahead and follow me on all my other social medias that I will be posting down below. So it's been a while since I made a video in the cocina and for today's video I wanted to have like a little borracho moment. So I thought I'd show you guys how to make these mango micheladas that I recently discovered. But actually a little backstory from where all of this came out of. I recently went to Culichi Town and if you don't know what Culichi Town is, it is a mariscos restaurant that has like the bombest micheladas, the best aguachiles, the best ceviches. That place is just Oh, mouth-watering. As I was getting ready to order a drink, I saw that they had a mango michelada, and I am not a fan of micheladas at all whatsoever, only because of the tomato juice. I hate tomato juice. I just hate tomatoes in general. I think that is like one of the only foods that if I eat, I will gag. And I have friends that I guess are like experts at making micheladas, and they've always told me like, let me just make you this michelada, like I promise you, you won't taste the tomato juice, but I always end up tasting the tomato juice. So as I was looking through the Culichi Town menu, I saw that they had a mango michelada and I even asked like my waitress, like, hey, like this mango michelada, is it like mango mixed with tomato juice? She's like, no, it's like pure mango puree. And I was like, say less, let me try it. And I tried it and it was life changing to me. So I did my research on a couple mango michelada recipes and I decided to do my own little tweaks to it, add a couple things that I think would taste good with it, take out some things that I really didn't like that the other recipes had in it. So I know that there's a whole bunch of other recipes out there on the internet of how to make a mango michelada. And I'm not saying that this is the right way of how to make one, I'm just saying that this is the best one for my personal liking. So if you guys are interested to see on how I make my mango michelada, then keep on watching. So before I get started and go over the ingredients, I think it's only right for me to take a shot since I am going to show you guys how to make a michelada. I think that's the right thing to do. So I am going to be taking a shot of my favorite tequila. This is the Espolon Tequila Blanco. If you know, you know. If I've gotten you onto this tequila, you know how good it is. Alright, so let's pour her up. Ooh, I'm already gagging. Me regretting this. So I did cut up a piece of lime because if I take the shot straight like that, I'm going to vomit everywhere. You guys also better be taking a shot with me at home. Ugh. I gotta mentally prepare myself for this. I haven't done this in so long. Alright, cheers. No. Woo! I'm already drunk. Ay Dios, casi me muero. But well, we're gonna set you aside because you'll probably be making an appearance. Oh, oh, I'm already drunk, I think. I meant to say, we're gonna set you aside because you'll probably be making an appearance later in the video. There we go. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started with the ingredients. So what you're gonna be needing for this mango michelada recipe is one mango. So this is, this is, ma this, I think I'm drunk. I think I'm tipsy a little bit. So this mango is this right here chopped up, you know, okay. You're gonna be needing some mango nectar. I prefer the brand Humex because this is like an OG brand. I feel like it's like more pasteurized and more thick. And then you're gonna be needing your choice of beer. I'm gonna be using Ultra today. You're gonna need some Tapatio. You're gonna need some limes. You're gonna need some Tajin. And then you're also gonna be needing some Chamoy. I'm gonna be using two different types of Chamoy because I'll explain later. This is gonna be for the rim and this Chamoy is gonna be for the one that I'm gonna put like in the little mixture. And then last but not least, you're gonna be needing the ice, but of course we're gonna get that towards the end. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna add your chopped up mango into your blender. And how sick is this mini blender that we got? It's like so much more convenient than like your big ass licuadora. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of her in. I think that's too much actually. Actually it isn't because we're gonna be making like three or four today. And then you're going to be adding a splash of your humix. What the fuck? Oh shit. Okay. Ooh, look! You guys see that? Okay. I would say about like that. No, actually a little more. Like that. 
I'm telling you guys, this is my recipe. Like, I have no exact measurements. You just kind of, like, eyeball it, you know, and you hope, like, your ancestors, like, tell you when to stop, you know? But once we blend it, and if we see that we need more, then we'll add more. This is no big deal. So then after you add your mango nectar, you're going to be adding one whole lime. You guys, I'm low key kind of feeling the shot. <sighs> Santo Dios. Then after you add your lime, you're going to be adding a couple dashes of the tapatio sauce for a little extra kick. Again, you just eyeball this. Okay, I think that's fine. That is fine. So count how many dabs I did and then, you know, figure it out. And then after you add your tapatio, you're going to be adding a couple little dashes of tahin. I actually like a lot of tahin, so I'm going to do like that much. And then once you add your tahin, you're going to be adding a couple little drizzles of chamoy in there. I would say that much. And that's pretty much it for your mango puree. So after you have that all in there, you're just gonna... Yes! That's the color you want! I will give it a little mix again, and then a couple little... One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, I'm done. I'm actually kind of drunk. So once you have your little puree ready, we're going to prepare our baso. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dip your cup into the chamoy. And I'm actually using two different types of chamoy because um, I'm, this one's the Michis El Gordo chamoy and I feel like this one's like the best for the rims is because it's like a thick consi consistency. And the one that I poured in here was actually the Culichi Town Chamoy. And I feel like that one was better like for the mixture since it's like, it's like a little more runny. I feel like I'm slurring my words a little bit, but you guys catch what I'm saying, right? Just please tell me yes so I don't feel like I'm really drunk. So then I'm gonna add a couple ice cubes in here. And I feel like when it comes to like a michelada, you don't wanna add too much ice because then it gets watered down. And the last thing you want is like a watered down michelada because like watered down beer does not taste good. Then after you add your ice in there, Ooh, this smells good. And now I'm not gonna try. Well, I mean, it's just mango. Nah, never mind. So then you're gonna add about this much to your thing. About that much. Yeah. Again, this is like my recipe, so everything's just kind of eyeballed. And then you're gonna add your. <laughs> you're gonna add your beer. I'm using Ultra. You gotta tilt it to the side so it doesn't get. Oh shit, it's still getting bubbly. Oh, me failing at being a bartender. My mouth is already watering. I know this is gonna be so good. You know what? I'm gonna add another beer. Cause YOLO. Beer number two. Ooh, this looks like the one from Kulichi Town. And then since your puree is going to be a little thick, you are going to want to give it like a good mix. So the beer and everything. Oh shit. Oh fuck. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Okay. Hold on. Oh my gosh. This, was, this wasn't this was supposed to happen. Hold on. Okay. So be prepared if that happens. That wasn't supposed to happen. Like the several times that I made this, it didn't happen. I don't know what happened now. And then for a little garnish, we're gonna add a couple pieces of mango in there. Ooh, my mouth is salivating. And there you have it. You got your mango michelada. So let me just go ahead and get cleaned up really quick because I'm getting like major OCD. And then I'll come back with like a tasting review, okay? All right, so we are back. We are back in the clean kitchen. I can finally taste this michelada peacefully now. So here's the taste test. Why am I- I already know what this tastes like. I'm just gonna act shocked. Mmm. Who just texted me? I did it again. Yep. This is a priority right now. I should probably do like a little thumbnail. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. One thing that I would recommend, if you guys don't like pulpy stuff, I would recommend that you guys, um, 
What's that saying called? What's the word? Where you like, where you pour it and like the little like tray that has little holes. Drain? Drain? Strain! Strain? Strain. That sounds right. I would recommend you guys strain your puree so you guys can get like a more watery consistency. I like my thick and pulpy because it just gives me like an agua fresca vibe. It feels like I'm drinking like an agua de mango with like a little kick to it, you know? Alright you guys, so that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys do decide to follow my recipe at home, make sure you guys go ahead and tag me on Instagram so I can check out your michelada. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and if you guys made it this far into the video, make sure you guys comment. Comment the little beer emoji. So comment the beer emoji so I know that you guys made it this far into the video. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Should I finish this video off with a shot? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hold on, hold on. Don't leave yet. Ooh. I'm feeling a little light already. I'm only gonna do half a shot. Alright you guys, so once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Oh, me? Hold on. What do I, what am I do? Oh, okay. Ooh, that was a good chaser. Mmm. Alright, I'm done. I'm leaving before I take more shots. Bye!